data files uh, uh, and MDF and your files mm-hmm. and log files. Yeah. Any any. Large. Yeah. Anyone tried creating any database? Yeah. So is it successful? Great, yes, sir. Okay, okay. That's fine. Simple. Uh, uh right click and create database okay that's good so anyone face any challenges so uh you you said the uh, command line uh, yeah yeah uh, queries are uh, yeah i haven't tried my either edo uh but uh, Going going forward, uh, can you be uh, give us something sir, to learn that command line? Oh, see, these are very simple commands. Command means you are asking queries, right? Yes, sir. Mm, queries. See, create database database name. It's a simple, right? We have to learn it. What is there in that? We have to. If, if we cannot remember, of course, there is no way. We have to by heart it. That's it. And that to try to understand things. Create what you want to create. I want to create a database. okay create database of course if you creating any objects you have to give the name right you have to give that name create database database name that's it so like this these are three word commands okay sometimes you will have 10 words and all hardly 10 words in a single command you can see hardly 10 words but that's not a difficult thing you have to first understand the situation in which scenario we are using so based on that you can easily remember it nothing to by heart here definitely you can remember it okay you have to understand the situation that's it as per the situation we are going to discuss the queries right so you have to simply remember those queries that's it ashok i have one question yes yes playing recovery pending recovery pending what are yeah, yeah i try to create it and try to remove it see we are good at pending file is corrupted if the log file is corrupted if there is no free space in the drives okay if you delete the data files or log files in these scenarios we are going to get this or else to open these files which was corrupted there is no solution for that okay in case if there is a due to free space issue database went to recovery state you can extend the drive and all but if you delete the data file or log file or if you open the data file or log file or if those files are corrupted database will went to recovery pending state the only solution in the organization we usually take the full backups on the database we have to restore with the full backups latest backups and all so now tell me what you did yeah, i try to inception gateway mm but... come on huh? you are trying a lot huh? <laughs> no problem no problem okay. okay fine that's good okay so in this way only we can well, learn I, it I but need to try know to where explore. the data of park event that's like just it we cannot see okay we cannot mm-hmm. see the data file the data it's a data like it's a kind of a, a lake data will keep on going to that particular log file first then once it was committed then it will go to the data file okay so you want to see means how you want to see you want to open the file and you want to see the physical data i limited the that is not yeah that is not possible okay it won't work you cannot open those files and all if you yesterday itself we discussed if you try yeah. to open data file or log file it will be corrupted and make sure you don't open those files and all now this, there is no solution for you okay in the organization we have one solution that we are going to restore the database with the latest backups create one more new database okay yeah any questions data. yeah 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 no problem yeah shanmug this is dilip yeah dilip tell me yeah one question is like yes, yes. Uh, suppose uh, my database file is full okay mm-hmm. data file is full mm-hmm. i want to create new secondary data file in other disk okay okay do i need to create a, a new file group or i can use not required you can you can you can use see nothing like that don't think like for every file i have to create a separate file group no depends upon the feasibility okay you can create yesterday we discussed right how many files we can create so 32000 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32
if you need okay. more feasibility you can create separate file group and you can keep that file inside the file group okay but it's not so I can mandatory use primary also right yes you can use primary also it's okay. not mandatory that for every data file you have to add extra file group it's not mandatory you can use the primary of course file group is mandatory but extra separate file group is not mandatory you can use the existing primary file group itself okay yeah right okay so the, so today we'll discuss okay uh, first we'll try to change the service account okay that is one thing then we'll discuss about the uh, system databases okay so uh, last time we discussed it right i'll show you how to change the service account and all right so we'll discuss how to change the service account right so service accounts are windows accounts only right i guess most of you started practicing it so while entering to the, while entering into the machine which account username and password you are providing or else let me give you this example you are all using laptops right fine so once you turn on the laptop you will give the password right right so which account password you will give windows password windows password or existing account password right right say so for example here for me administrator is the account okay just a minute guys just a minute come on right okay so if you see here this is my account okay while logging into my machine i am going to enter i am going to enter what kind of account i am going to en enter administrator account what it means or else imagine this is my laptop account if i want to like once i turn on the account okay this is the hamant account once i turn on the account i have to give the password for hamant what it means that means hamant is already created in the machine and we already gave a password for hamant so once you turn on the laptop you have to give the password once you give the password os will verify whether you gave correct username and password or not how can it verify if the username is already existed in the windows operating system then only it can verify right so you have you are a new customer to the bank okay so bank will give you one book for internet banking so immediately if you try to open that internet banking book is it going to work immediately once he gave you the book immediately if you try to log into the net banking is it going to work it won't no. work why why because bank people will take 2 to 3 days time to activate they will said sir we will activate sir we will let you know so then you can use internet banking what is meant by activation they will create a username for you they will create a default password for that username so that if you log in with the default username and password then only you can log into the internet banking in the same way once you turn on the laptop you are providing one pin or password okay for the existing account itself you are providing that pin or password right so that means that account is already existed in the operating system once you gave the pin it will verify whether you gave correct pin or not if you gave correct pin it will allow you to log into the laptop right in the same way users users also part of the windows machine service account is also one kind of user account okay so first we have to create that user in the windows level then we have to change the service account from default to our respect to user which was newly created so what is the prerequisite first we have to create a windows level user then we have to add that user into administrators group then we can why because this user has to log into multiple folders to access the data right that means this user should have administrator privileges in the os level okay so that's why if you want to create a customized service account first of all we have to create a user account in the windows level in the organization 
we don't create in the windows level windows people will create the account in the ad level ad means active directory separate machine for the security okay ad means active directory you uh, organization is going to maintain a separate machine for the security all the users from ceo to security guard are part of the active directory if you are a member of active directory then only you can access organization assets like laptop and all right you should be member of active directory so in the organization windows people will create these accounts in the active directory as of now we don't have active directory set up i am creating in the local machine we have a separate classes on active directory then i'll tell you how to create the users in the active directory but this is done by the this will be done by the windows team once windows team created the user account then they will let us know then we have to change the service account okay so for our practice we are the windows team network team storage team everything right so let's create a user account in the windows level okay before changing the service account what i'll do first i'll create a user account in the windows level first step create user account in the windows level nothing to worry this step will be done by the windows team okay second step can anyone tell me the second step password sir we want to give a password of course we can give uh, i think that like user to administrator very good excellent okay we have to add this user to administrators group okay then he will become an administrator okay right what is the third step we can change the service account okay either from services.msc or or configuration manager also okay we can change the service account either of these two video two windows okay right after changing the service account what you have to do restart the sir. very good okay very good restart SQL, the sir. sql server then only the new account will take effect okay so these are the four steps involved in changing the service account right so let me go with the first step okay first what i have to do i have to create one user account right so how can i create user account there is a shortcut to open users and groups okay windows r go to your server open windows r run type l u s r m g r dot m s c okay l u s r m g r l means local u s r means user m g r means manager okay l u s r m g r dot m s c you have to give this shortcut in the run and just click okay or enter then it will open a users and groups screen okay as we have to create new user go to user section right double click on it user section you can see as of now only administrator is there that's why i'm able to log in with the help of administrator account if someone deleted this administrator account i cannot log in if someone deleted your account from your laptop you cannot log into your laptop why because there is no user itself how it is going to verify username and password once you give the pin right so usually no one will delete and of course administrator can't be deleted default user but if you create any default other users other than this default user if you create any extra users and all that you can delete it what is the impact if you delete it you cannot log into the machine why because the user itself deleted imagine from net banking if your username or customer id is deleted can you log into the net banking you cannot log in why because where it is going to verify yeah where it is going to verify if there is no user account so that's why right so let me create a user right click in the white space you can choose new user a new user yeah okay so user, user name username will be okay a service account we are giving a service account right so in the organization how the service accounts name will be like this svc underscore sql underscore if it is prod prd if it is stage stz like that will be there. okay act seems should be a service account the name you can you can put your name also you can put your name any name you can put but the thing is it should reflect a real service account right so that's why i'm giving like this in the organization will follow like this 
okay svc sql act like that okay in the name you can see svc svc means that is a service account so please mute please mute right please mute sir okay fine so svc sql act you can give your your own name you can give like i can give my uh, my name as shanmukhi here okay shanmukh can also act as a service account but the thing is you have to change this account in the services.ms that's it whatever what account you will give it will act as a service account so it's not like uh, there is specifications in keeping the name and all nothing you can keep any name but it should reflect a real time environment okay so as we say i have to give the password right so give the strong password again i am saying don't give different different passwords in different different scenarios choose one strong password throughout the course give only that password okay while creating while giving password at any corner so that you don't forget that password if you forget that password okay again it will be difficult to retrieve right so a service account is just account is created it's not service account don't think if i keep svc it will become service account no it's just a service it's just an account sorry it's just an account now i have to convert this account into service account okay so first step one completed what is the step two we want to give you administrator yeah go to groups option User. yeah go to groups option double click on administrators click on add button here okay add and we have to add svc right we just created type svc and check names okay you can see like this okay give complete name in that case svc act what is that name svc act not act svc sql act right give full name right now you can see right this is computer name guys okay this is computer name backslash account name okay computer name backslash account name this is how the accounts will be if i give my name computer name backslash shanmukh if i give your name computer name backslash your name will be there okay right click okay now this account became administrator local administrator i told you right why it should be local administrator it has to log into lot of folders lot of drives to read the data to write the data so it should be local admin okay fine that's it apply okay what is the third step guys i have to change the service account now this is the exact step okay go to services.msc type any service just first keep it in alphabet order click on this name once automatically it will come alphabet order select any service select uh, type s yes. you can see services starts with s yes, and go to the service we have to change the service accounts for these two services sql server database engine sql server agent service for these two accounts i have to change the service accounts okay for these two services this is database engine service this is agent service for these two services we have to change the service account other services not required only these two are very important these two are main okay so i am going to change the service accounts for these two services you can see currently they are running on nt service nt service you can see they are running on nt service sql server agent ms sql server these are the virtual service accounts so let me change it okay right click property or double click on it directly okay fine you can go to log on tab right you can see the service account here nt service ms sql server click on browse okay give your name whatever name you have created svc underscore sql underscore act okay and just check names now click okay okay give the password while creating this user okay you gave one password right just now we have created this user and we gave one password that password you have to give here don't give new password i'm giving that password why i can see dot in front of the account name you can see can anyone see the small dot computer name yes very good okay so computer name dot reflects computer name that's why actual account name is computer name backslash account name right so instead of computer name it shows dot backslash account name right click apply then okay you see here the account svc has been granted the login services right click okay 
now you will get one more thing the new login name will not take effect until you stop and restart the service click okay and click okay now restart the service okay select this you can restart it here or else select this right click restart it okay so you can it is asking for agent also let me do one thing let me change it for agent also then you can restart both at a time see here account is changed it right earlier it shows anti service ms sql server now it is showing the service account double click on the agent go to logon as go to browse type the service account name svc sometimes if you type you will get it if not type completely svc underscore sql underscore act okay check names click okay give the password right apply okay and okay okay now you can see both service both accounts are changed to service account okay now just select this one right click restart both database engine and it is asking do you want me to start the agent also click yes i want to start the agent also so both services will be restarted now okay if you give wrong password of course during password itself it will throw you wrong password but somehow if you give wrong password and all if you uh, yeah if you give wrong password and all what happened you know the service won't starts okay so for this account i gave one password right while giving while changing the service account i gave password right while creating this account you gave one more password right so if password is not matches after changing the service account you cannot start the sql services okay so if sql services are not starting means might be there is an issue with service account also okay so this is how we have to change the service account clear guys any issues any doubts now we have dedicated service account so this account only will take care of reads and writes okay fine any issues any doubts so this uh, is a downtime uh, activity yeah this is a downtime activity usually we are going to change this service account during the installation first thing okay next thing if you don't change it after installation post installation we are going to change the service account okay post installation we are going to change the service account right so remember one thing post installation usually we will take 2 to 3 days to complete post installation once post installation is done then the server will go live okay so during post installation you can restart the services without taking any approvals server is live means what application will be attached to the server once application is attached to the server you cannot restart it whenever you want you have to take the proper downtime approvals for this activity if you are doing it during post installation you can happily restart the server but after one year or two years okay if you want to change the service account what is the method what is the process in the organization what is the process i right. will change it first go to services and uh, no, no, no. service process. account process that is okay so that uh, is process for every uh, time take approval first very good first of all we have to take the downtime approval we have to raise a change request the change request has to be approved once change is approved then we have to perform this during the maintenance window don't perform whenever you want so we'll take the proper approvals from the customer customer will tell you okay do it on saturday evening okay or sunday morning no one will be there no users will be connected then you have to complete this activity you have to raise a change request with a proper change window once this change request is approved by the cab change authority board people then you can proceed with this activity once change is completed you have to close the change request as well and you have to inform to the customer service account has been successfully changed please check and let me know if you have any issues like that you have to send an email to the customer okay clear guys any issues and doubts yeah someone is asking doubt sir uh, 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 yeah. in services uh, we are going for uh, login in login login option there is a users are in bill login in bill 
we here the screen you are saying uh no sir no it's previously it shows to us um not this one sir yeah ls 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 l u s r n g oh, okay okay that's fine okay so this window right okay uh, yeah this one tell me here yes, sir. administrator administrator hmm uh, not users a group 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 so okay okay administrator administrator okay okay just wait okay let me reopen the meeting meeting is going to close now let me reopen the meeting please join with the same link okay okay sir. yeah